In this video lesson, we're going to discuss guitar tone and how to get a country tone. I, I get at least one email a week from fellow pickers asking me, how, what amps do you use? What's your amp settings? How do you get that country tone? And I'll be the first to tell you, I don't think I have that great a tone. Uh, it's kind of a never-ending never ending battle. Um, I have a really hard time trying to hear in the studio to get a good tone, and I'll explain why later. But anyway, uh, I'm going to break this down into three parts because I think there are three contributing factors to getting a good tone. The amp is the final stage, but prior to that, on the pedal board, there's an effect pedal that we use that uh, really helps, and I think the answer that most guys are looking for is probably that. Um, and then prior to that, it starts. It all starts right here. So we're going to break these into break this lesson into three different segments. Well, we'll start with the amps. Uh, first, I'll explain the settings that I use, the general settings that I use, and uh, then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what amps I use afterwards. But with this being said, again, it's the amp settings. Everybody's tones, tastes are different. Uh, as we get into this, keep in mind it's it's uh, you're gonna want to tailor your sound to what you like. All right. So over here, zoom in on my Fender Twin. This is a Fender Twin reissue I'm using here, and I used this on the first couple of videos that I made years ago. So let's look at the uh, tone controls here. I've got my bass, mids, and trebles. My general settings are starting settings are is the bass around five or if you're using like a chicken head knob kind of amplifier you know doesn't have the numbers on it using the clock system that would be 12 o'clock on the mids i'm at seven or that would be around two o'clock and uh treble it's typically i start at around four now we're talking telecasters here by the way if you're using like a les paul or you know something with humbuckers they're going to be much a fatter sound. So you'll compensate that by maybe bringing up the highs a little more, maybe lowering your bass a little more. But I don't use any real drastic EQs on my settings. This is my general setting. So again, bass on five, mids on seven, trebles around four. Uh, for you guys with two, with only two uh, bass and treble tone controls, uh, again, you can set those up about the same, five and four. I, I, I set them up around five and five and even six and six, and then tweak it from there. Nothing drastic. All right, next we'll talk about the gain settings on this. Uh, on this amplifier here, of course, I've just got one. There's only a volume is all you've got, one volume control. So in a room like where I'm at now, you can see I'm on one. <laughs> I mean, one and a half, two. Here's one is off. There's on, and that is plenty loud for the room that I'm, my little studio room here. Uh, I can't crank it up any louder, it's going to be too loud. My lapel mic picks up just as much as the microphone in front of the speaker. And that was the issue I had with, you know, when I first started shooting videos with the amp sitting out like this. So, I'm, I'm just stuck with using that volume right there. All right, there, there are other amps that have, let's look at this knob over here, which is, you know, the volume for the other, other channel, but let's pretend that this is clear over to the far side of the amp, where most of them would be, and it says master instead of volume. So what this it would be then is our master volume, and then this is a, you know, our secondary volume here, or it would be called gain, volume, clean, you know, various different amps would be called different things here. So it's like having two volume controls. What we can do then, uh, is I uh, have this up to 10 and it would be the same as what I have right here. You know, again, it's wide open. So this is, this would be my settings. The nice thing about having that feature though, we can turn the master down and excuse the scratchy pots there. This thing has, uh, needs some work done to it, but we could turn that down and then start pushing the, the preamp tubes a little more here by turning this up, which I find on most amps, for me, the sweet spot is around three and a half to four and a half. This is where the amp 
starts to pushing the, the preamp tubes. Now, I'm talking about tube amps here, by the way, which is what I use. Uh, you don't have to have a tube amp to get a good tone. I, I prefer a tube amp. I think it gets a, a better tone, a warmer kind of tone. Uh, but you don't have to have a, a tube amp. They are quite more expensive than a, than a you know, a, 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 what am I trying to say, a solid state. Um, so even the solid states, though, when you have that gain channel, or, or gain volume there, are, are about the same place, three, three and a half, four and a half, they start to break up a little bit. And, and that's because we're pushing on a tube amp, we're pushing the tubes. Uh, I, want, I like mine set to where it's just below breaking up. I want it clean, but I want it pushing. You know, I want it a, an aggressive clean, so to speak, I guess would be the way to explain that. So for me, on most of my amps, the sweet spot is somewhere between three and a half and four and a half. And then I'll turn my volume up to the desired. Again, consider this a master. We're pretending this is a master volume. Then I'll turn this up to the desired level. Let's go ahead and talk about some extreme EQ, guys that use what I would consider extreme EQing. Don Rich uh, with Buck Owens. Don Rich had, to me, a pretty extreme trouble EQing. I don't know if he cranked it up to 10, but it was pretty doggone high. Uh, very very thin sounding tone and it worked for that era uh it worked with you know buck owens the songs they were doing i don't think that would be a tone that one would use today if you know if you're trying to play other style of music and i say other style i mean you know modern country and, and and other stuff but if you want to sound like don rich crank your treble up a little bit I don't know that I'd max it out completely, but I'd start turning it up like one number at a time and, and then maybe roll your bass off a little bit, see what you get. Uh, another extreme, uh, what I would call an extreme EQ setting is Pete Anderson. I recently did a couple of videos on some Dwight Yoakam songs. And of course, Pete Anderson did all the recording on that, the guitar work on that these songs. And so I you know, was doing some research on Pete, trying to find his tone, because he has a unique tone. Come to find out, he uses a, uh, used back then, uh, a couple of deluxe reverbs, which only have the two, the two settings, bass and treble. Now, the mid setting on those style amps are internal. They use a resistor cap or something. I, I don't know what they use, but anyway, it's set internally, and I believe it's at like number seven, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he had that replaced to where the mids would be wide open. Okay, so the mids are wide open, and then he would take his bass and roll it completely off. No bass at all. I think he, I, I read in one article where he said in live situations he might be on one or two. So, pretty extreme EQing on that, and I think the mids, if I'm not mistaken, Trouble, I think was on five or six, I think. I forget. So anyway, I mean, an example of his tone, uh, what's the one I did? Uh, please, please, baby. I'll try to play a little bit of that and see if I can get his tone here. Very mid sounding, almost a nasally kind of sound to it, aggressive nasally kind of sound. Uh, unique tone. If you're going for a Pete Anderson kind of sound, you might try that kind of a setting there. Okay, well, that covers the amp settings, general amp settings that I use, and a couple, you know, other guys that give you some ideas on, uh, you know, how to set your amp up. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is what I would consider to be the last step. This, this is not what's going to get you, what I believe most guys are asking me about as far as the tone goes. Uh, this is not the what's going to get you there. It's what comes before this, and that's going to be our pedal board, the, if we want to call it the secret pedal, uh, which I'll explain in the next video. And then the video after that, we're going to go back to where it all begins, right here with the hands.